Again, YouTube, Mad Dog here. I thought I'd show you one of my little daft projects um, for winter time. Um, basically, this is um, a homemade, I don't know if you call it bushcraft or not, camping maybe, um, pocket warmer, stroke bed warmer that I've made dead simple, dead basic using scrap off cuts of leather. Um, in this case, I've used the cuffs off an old pair of light duty leather gauntlet um, welding gloves these are a new pair so I'm not going to sacrifice those but um, the same type of gloves used to have the gauntlet um, the leather pieces attached on the end I've simply cut those off just bring this back into shop so that piece I've just cut straight across and obviously that leaves you with a nice a nice opening so then what I've done is I've stitched Restitched across the bottom just rough assed by hand just to close it off and the second glove I've cut the same piece off and this time I've cut lengthways as well to form a longer piece of leather which I'd use as the closing flap which I'd, I'll just show you what I've ended up with which basically is this little fella <laughs> oh dear this little pouch here um, just let me open this up so we've got a little flap it just folds over the top so I've simply really rough ass stitched it on the inside just by hand and if the gloves are still service, uh, serviceable a little tip is wear them whilst you're doing your stitching because they uh, give a bit of, bit of extra protection and act as a um, <clears throat> you know the thumb protector when you're stitching Thimble, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so in here I've got an old piece of fire brick, basically, you know, stove um, thermalite uh, fire brick. So you will place that next to or around your fire, get it nice and toasty hot, and uh, slip it into your homemade pouch, which I've also just added a simple offcut of leather, cross stitched it on there, and a button, and a quick quick uh, rough rough ass slit there just to secure it all shut and then you drop that in there using tongs or a pair of gloves fasten it all up slide that into your sleeping bag and that will disperse that heat for hours and hours keeping you nice and toasty warm for the actual rock um, brick you can use soap um, soap stone you know the easy carving soft soapstone and um, that makes a great um, fire brick uh, material a standard pebble as long as it's hard smooth round and perfectly dry never use sandstone or porous rocks around a fire as you all know they'll explode anything quartz based don't don't it's not worth the risk don't do it <coughs> excuse me and the pouch itself what I might do is onto the back add a further strip of leather like a, uh, a belt loop basically so you could then wear that on your belt or on a rucksack bergen whatever and then you could use that to gather tinders make a fire lighting kit out of it I don't know a basic first aid or a basic um, traditional flint and iron fire lighting kit whatever you need maybe but uh, <coughs> excuse me it doesn't have to be gauntlet glove leather obviously an old leather jacket would work or like I've demonstrated previously, old boot leather or a piece of old leather settee, anything that you can get for nothing for free. You know, it doesn't have to be pretty, as you can see with my real rough assed effort. I mean, I've hand stitched all this, and it really is something like out of a Frankenstein um, movie. So you heat that up, drop it in there, close the lid, and just um, use the use the little button that's on a floating tab just to secure it all shut so you don't burn yourself on the hot rock slip that into your bivy and it'll keep you keep your toasty warm will it help anyway so I thought I'd quickly share that one with you dead simple dead easy to do out of basically a pair of old gauntlet gloves why not <clears throat> 
so I'm going to be trying this out over the Christmas period I've got some time off from work um, try my new tent out I've got a uh, TP tent this time ex-military TP tent obviously I'm going to be doing a couple of overnighters in that during the Christmas holidays and I'll be using this to help warm me up in my sleeping bag so you might see some footage, uh, footage of it actually in use and um, I just thought I'd quickly share this daft little project with you because it's that cold chilly time of year and keep yourself warm for free hope you find some of this stuff useful have fun with it you know it's only a bit of fun isn't it? it's a hobby so why not you know beats watching telly take care out there whatever you're all doing see you all soon mad dog signing off yeah